Hey everybody, it's Jay Mr. Real Estate, and I want to do a video. I was inspired by the book that I tell all my academy students to read, University of Success. It's a book that I've been reading for like 10 years now. I've read this book like four times. I've actually purchased the book for my entire family for Christmas, purchasing like 40 copies um, and passing them out uh, because it's so valuable. It really is a great book of self-reflection, of um, positive reinforcement, and just has many angles from many of the top authors on self-development, self-help, and motivation um, that have ever lived, right? Um, so I read this nightly, um, always trying to keep, you know, inspiring myself, motivate myself, and just kind of fixing things that go on in my personal life or in my business, etc. So I was really inspired by, in semester one of this book, chapter five, it's a lesson on um, how to conquer the 10 most common causes of failure. And one of the things, and I'm gonna read a couple, you know, just excerpts, because I, I always, you can see, I always highlight, as the book tells you to do, always highlight or underline what's really meaningful to me in the book. But one thing I've noticed is something that I've been able to do really well. I actually learned this in jail, right? I always have my old prison or jail stories, but as a youth, I learned a lot um, as I went through the system, right? So I spent two and a half years in prison in seven different prisons as from my time of 18 years old to 22 years old. And I got a lot of mentorship actually while in jail. And I remember a, a guy telling me about um, a guy named Thor from Brooklyn, right? Some Fort Greene projects in Brooklyn when I was locked up in New York. And he would tell me about, you know, he would call me Jersey. He would say, Jersey, make sure you look yourself in the mirror, look yourself in the eyes and can be really honest with yourself about, you know, are you doing the best you can do and, you know, who you really are as opposed to who you're portraying to everyone else. Like we all have a bit of uh, portraying something, right? Whether it's we're portraying happy, we're really sad, portraying tough when we're really not, um, you know, portraying we love someone when we really don't or whatever that is, right? Portraying we're really interested in a product and we're not. So it's up to you to be really honest about, you know, your own true feelings. And in the book, in the um, US, University of Success, um, it talks about a stumbling block being the old, the age old trick of blaming others. We, we, we all often do that. Um, and it says, <clears throat> we sometimes credit success and failure to good and bad luck. Um, as though luck were a god or goddess intervening in the affairs of men. Um, what in me is responsible for this? Should be the question that we're asking, right? What, what, what in me? So if we're, if we're on bad fortune, right? If our business is not working, if you're taking a training course or you're in a school and you're not getting the results that you want or on your job, you're not getting promoted, right? We often, right, and it says, um, but even now, very few of us are ready, are ready to admit immediately, maybe it's my fault. You know, primitive um, or childish, is a primitive or childish way to any situation involving fault or failure for us to constantly blame other people. And another quick excerpt, and then I'll expound, is... We don't recognize failure for what it is, and consequently, we cannot deal with it. So a lot of times, we don't get out of our situations and can't really deal with our failures because we're not honest about where our failures have come from. And it's so easy, right? It's what kids do. It's like my daughter gets caught, you know, not cleaning up, and then she blames her cousin. Or, you know, someone gets caught in school cheating on a test, but it wasn't their fault. It's never, you know, for a child, it's never their fault, Right? Very often, very, very seldom you get a child that admits like, you know what? It was me. And in our world, we call that manning up, right? Because it usually takes someone, a woman or man or adult, someone of real character to admit, you know what? My bad, my fault, it was me. So a lot of times we have failures in things that we attempt. And you know, I'm heavy in the real estate world and the real estate industry. And a lot of times, you know, there'll be people that aren't having the success they wanna have in the real estate industry and it's everybody's fault. It's their mentor, it's their coach, it's the bank, it's the seller, and it's everything else. But what about you? Do you actually ever look at yourself and say, you know what, it's my fault. The bank reached out to me on Friday. I didn't get back to them until Monday because I didn't check my email in time because I was doing X, Y, and Z because I was in the gym. I was doing something different, right? Or, you know what, I didn't get approved for the loan. It wasn't the bank's fault. It's really because of my credit. My credit's really bad because I didn't pay that, pay that Sprint bill, and et cetera, et cetera. Or I put my car into my sister's name, cheated and paid for it, 
Now my credit's jacked up, and you know what? It's not really, it's not even your sister's fault. It's your fault because you're the one that made a decision to put it on your name. Like we, 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 we very seldom want to and are willing to take the blame for our circumstances and our situations. And one thing I've constantly done in my rise to success is I'm more than willing. I'm happy to take responsibility for my actions um, and my failures because then that allows me to grow. It allows me to identify what I did wrong so that I can be in control of not doing it wrong again. If you can't even honestly identify what you've done wrong, then you'll probably repeat that action because in your mind you subconsciously brainwash yourself that it's somebody else's fault and not your own bad habits, not all, your, your, your wrong decisions or, or misdecisions. It's not your uh, being lazy, right? It's not your being uneducated. It's not your lack of effort. So therefore you think, hey, you're perfect. You've done it all right. So, you know, I have students that have said, you know, I um, am looking for comps for properties, right? Or I want to buy a property. And I stress in all my videos and in, in all my lessons, you'll always hear me say, don't guess. Don't use tax assessor offices. Don't use Zillow. Don't use Trulia. Get a realtor or appraiser and get true comps so you know the value of your home. And constantly I have students that tell me what a tax assessor price is or tell me what homes in the area are going for. And they use all these estimates but then if they don't have the success they want to have in that equation, they're going to blame everybody else except for the fact that they didn't follow the blueprint they were given, right? And it just works for all of us in so many ways, even in our family. You can have a quarrel with your significant other, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend, and we constantly blame that it's him or it's her. But we never, we very, very look at, you know, you know what, what did I play in this equation? And it's not about blaming yourself because maybe it's not you. So don't blame yourself if it's not you, but take a look in the mirror and be willing to be honest with yourself and raise your hand when it is you and be honest with yourself for your own failures. Don't get into the habit of being childish or being primitive and just be quick to point the finger before you actually even given any real self-reflection to if that finger should be pointed backwards, right? So that's just my little tidbit, something I was inspired by, something I want to share with you guys um, my J blog for the day on university success and that is don't fall into the failure symptom of blaming others um, And be willing to take responsibility for your own actions and that's like new role model stuff right there That's that's what we do at YMC. It's all about elevating accelerating um, Building ourselves up and building up the culture. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you on the next one. Peace